call this the pyramid of the four pillars of intra-optimal well-being, meaning intra, meaning inside of us, right? Like one of the main things you don't see on here is the idea of relationships and self-care. And those are very important to self-care. But right now, I just want to present this idea that we have these things inside of us that we can control that are not dependent on other people that if we think about and we put energy and intention into, we can practice good self-care and that will over time build resilience. So I'm just going over this real quick. I actually just added this slide not too long ago because I want to show you this thing at the top, MT, that stands for mental training. That's like the inner self-care, the mindfulness, the self awareness awareness, self-regulation strategies. We're going to be talking about that today for the most part. But I wanted to show you this pyramid because from a mental health perspective, some of these other pieces really don't get their due process and how much they contribute to self-care. So some of you may know that exercise, for example, can help your mental health, mental uh, health and, and well-being, right? That makes a lot of sense. And of course, it, it helps your, your, your physical well-being. Nutrition helps your physical well-being obviously, right? It makes you feel good, makes you feel optimal in your body. But a lot of people don't know that that can also help your, um, your, your mental health and your mental well-being as well. Now, the one I want to just focus on for an extra minute before we move on is sleep. Sleep does definitely does not uh, uh, get the justice it deserves and how well it can contribute to all of the above when it comes to well-being. Mental health, emotional health, um, physical health, all of that, right? I, a couple of years ago, really dove deep into the idea of sleep as self-care because um, I had trouble sleeping my whole life. I would always stay up late. It always just felt like my circadian rhythms were off. When I started sleeping well, I mean, it transformed my whole day. I mean, talk about something that you can do before meditation, before therapy, before joining a community. If you can get your sleep right, it will help with your self-care and your overall resilience. There's been loads of research that suggests that. Re uh, article just came out a few weeks ago uh, in a uh, journal, prestigious journal article called, I think it's Current Biology. I'm not looking at it right in front of me, and I would reference it in our last webinar a couple weeks ago um, that showed that people who sleep better better uh, and, uh, you know, more throughout the night, not more in time, but like with less disruptions, they are way less prone to develop Alzheimer's disease and dementia. So it's just, there's all this amazing research around it. And I just, I didn't want to go through this whole presentation without giving an acknowledgement to sleep as self 